Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechahakwarash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And this is going to be real brief, uh, but I wanted to address uh, this comment that was sent by uh, one of the brothers that was left on the page of a group who has left you Israelites out to dry. Now, before this group left, all right, um, for about two to three years, they were just scoffing and, you know, coming up with all of these different breakdowns and false interpretations, you know, um, rebelling against those who taught them. Because uh, a lot of them were ex-members of Great Millstone. And um, now that, you know, prophecy is being fulfilled and things are getting serious, they have left you Israelites out to dry. Those of you who have followed them, you know, and which we told you all, if you all believe those are your leaders, then good luck. And now look at you. You all are left out to dry with those arguments. You don't know what the hell to do. All right. Those of you who have repented and moved on, good. But a lot of you are still stuck in that pride. <laughs> and the only thing that you have to look forward to is judgment. All right. Because these guys were bugging out, man. America's not Babylon. This is not that. That's not this. That's all they did. They undid everything that was being taught. And then they dipped out. And they haven't loaded videos in probably a year. Okay. Probably more than that. Alright. Now. Let's read the comment. Truth Physician four months ago. Asked. Do he still teach? Okay. Speaking of this guy. That you see on the screen. I see prophecy happening. I'm guessing that's what he was saying. Who do I follow since they left? Please respond. So here it is. He sees the prophecies coming to pass. And now he's asking, who does he follow? But see, these are hirelings. <laughs> and now that trouble is coming upon the sheep. They have left your asses out to dry, man. Showing you that they never cared for the sheep in the first place they were only there for the deeds of the flesh to get the oohs and ahs the likes argue rebel okay and these are the type of men when they were in the camps they treated brothers like shit there was always some friction all right not to say that there weren't good times with these guys because I, I remember meeting some of them and they were all right you know individuals but you know what happens is bitterness all right, creeps in and you start to choke at the word, man. Okay, and the Lord uses uh, particular situations to try you and to reveal you for what you are. And these men were just revealed. And now, you know, this guy had like a, at one point, close to 10 men following him. And not one of them, from what I see, are still teaching the word. You have a few probably loading videos here and there. But it's over, man. All of that tough talk, all of that shit talking. And now that it really matters, these men are nowhere to be found, man. Let's get that in the scriptures. This is the book of John, the 10th chapter. Okay? And this is Jehoshaphat speaking. Alright? Because he's, when you read up, he talks about men <clears throat> trying to go up some other way outside of the straight gate. And the straight gate is upon us. And true shepherds and leaders under Yahweh the good shepherd, are going to be needed to guide you and to keep you in the right mind frame and to protect you. All right, because sheep, as beautiful of an animal that they are, they can get extremely simple and stupid and they're defenseless out in this world full of wolves. That's why Yahweh told us, I send you out as sheep amongst wolves. We're not tough guys. Those guys love to portray that tough guy mentality 
and they're back in the world, man. Most likely on drugs, okay, uh, doing rap music and, and, and everything else, man. And you know that in the back of their heads, they see what's happening, but there's pride on them, okay? So let's read, let's go to the point. All right. Hey, the scriptures say, let the, the true prophets be found faithful, man. Okay, we're not here to promote our personal lives. We're not here to uh, build up, you know, our personal. No, we're here to build the house of David. Let's see here. It says, verse 11, I am the good shepherd. I start at 10. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that's what those guys were. They were thieves. Okay. I am come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And through the videos going out, through the constant edification, through the, the, the talking about the mark of the beast. Because that's one of the things these guys, when they were um, teaching... You know, that's all y'all talk about is the mark of the beast. Well, for a hundred and something years, Noah only talked about the flood. How do you think that paid off for him when he entered into the ark? All right. It says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And this is what this sacrifice will lead to, man. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep, and that's what he did. And under Yahawashai sacrifice, we make our bodies a living sacrifice in the form of putting our necks on the lines, warning, okay, rebuking, edifying, day in and day out. That's a sacrifice, man. Going out on the highways and the byways, making sure that you're up to date on what's going on, what mind frame to be in, okay? That's us giving our life under the shepherd who gave his life. All right. Remember, the elect men are a sacrifice as well. We make our bodies a living sacrifice, man. Okay. But there's particular men who they have stipulations. There's only so far they will go. And that's where the hireling comes in and says, but he that is in hireling and not the shepherd Whose own sheep are not, see it the wolf coming and leave it the sheep. You see the wolf coming. Now, who's the wolf? Esau, Edom, these different heathen nations, the plans of the elite to ensnare and destroy our people, okay, to entice them to uh, uh, put foreign objects in their body, okay? So they saw the wolf coming <laughs> and left the sheep. And flee it. These guys flee. Okay? And the wolf, and it's for some reason, you know, the spirit has a spotlight on them lately. You know? It's not that brothers are sitting around thinking about these guys, but hey, the spirit brought them up for a reason. Maybe judgment is coming. Okay? But he does in hireling, and we're going to get you uh, the understanding on the hireling, because the hireling basically was hired for a time to help the sheep or to help the shepherd to guide the sheep because if the shepherd after a while had so many sheep as a matter of fact let's see if we can look up this word hireling and then we'll go to that uh biblical manner and customs the hireling is mastostos mastotos one hired a hireling so basically you can go to the root word to let out for hire so basically he was hired for a time to help the shepherd to guide the sheep all right but he was only there for his paycheck all right he was only there once he got his paycheck boom he was out now if he was helping the shepherd to uh guide the sheep in a very drastic situation let's say the sh uh one of the sheep was caught on the other side of the, the lake or got caught in a ditch and there was a wolf or, or, or a lion or something near okay the hireling would be like man i'm not I, I this ain't a part of my job i'm out of here this is too much 
I'm, you know, the, I'm, uh, you know, the, uh, <laughs> this is above my pay grade. And he'd roll out. He'd ask for his money and he'd roll out. I'm, I'm, I'm done. This is too much. Now the good shepherd, he swim over to the other side of the river, or whatever, to save that sheep, and that's what Yahweh Shai did for us. Okay, he's gathering the scattered sheep. All right, who basically are are, are were in this world lost. But he's gathered us back, right? But the hireling said to hell with that shit, man. That's 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 too crazy of a situation for me to get involved in. That's I'm done. Okay? So but he that's a is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own sheep are not, see it the wolf coming and leave the sheep and flee it. And the wolf catcheth them and scattered the sheep, see? And that's what's uh gonna happen to their flock. Because they're the, those who follow them and those who are agree with their... Because th this is the thing. This is how you know it was fake and full of SHIT. Because they would come with a new breakdown every week. And the people on the comment board would agree every week. The One week they would agree with with, with one breakdown and, 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 and everything else is cool. But then they'd go and undo this. And they would be like, yeah, that's right. I agree. And I'm talking about you had thousands of comments. Th thousands of views, I mean. Hundreds of comments. And where are those same people now? <laughs> where are you at? H how are you being fed? You either secretly sneaking over to watch us, or a lot of them came on, went on and said, well, shit, I guess we'll watch Sakari. <laughs> you know, but Sakari doesn't teach the madness uh, uh, that, that these guys were going into, man. America is not Babylon. There are no missiles. We don't know who the 12 tribes are. You know, but everybody in their camp is so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. <laughs> then they got a tw 12 tribe sign. It just put Judah scattered, Ephraim scattered, such as a scattered. So they, they, they left you all with a gray area and dipped out on your ass to go eat chicken wings and roll blunts. These niggas were hirelings, man. Let's get this real quick. Biblical manner and customs. The difference between a shepherd and a hireling. Concerning the hireling, Yahweh said the hireling flee it because he is in hireling and care it not for the sheep. When the flock is small, the shepherd handles the sheep without any help. But if the flock becomes too large, then it becomes necessary for him to hire someone to help him with the sheep. One man can usually handle from 50 to 100 sheep, but when he has more than 100, he usually seeks a helper. The hireling does not usually have the personal interest in the sheep that the shepherd has, and so cannot always be trusted to defend the flock in a way all right, uh, the shepherd himself would, and that's these guys. They could, they could not be trusted to defend the flock the way that the shepherd, okay, because when you get the scriptures, you're supposed to know the state of your flock. Let's get that in, uh, is that, uh, Proverbs 27 and 23? Let's get that real quick. Proverbs 27 and 23. It says, be thou diligent to know the state of the flock thy flocks and look well to thy herds when you read it in the nlt know the state of your flocks and put your heart into caring for your your herd their hearts wasn't into caring for the herd their hearts was into their personal gripes and holdups and bitter bit the bitterness that they had and they tried to make their bitterness a doctrine and you all follow that bitterness as a doctrine you see you can be angry but what's going on with you doesn't become a doctrine because you're mad. You have to work that out between you and your how about Shemiah Shah. If you feel wronged or you, you don't like the way something is going, you still got a job to do. But they undid everything just so they wouldn't, uh, 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 you know, uh, be aligned with the doctrine that they were taught by the apostles and elders. Now, look at them, man. Going back into the world, man. 
you could catch some of them doing interviews or, or you know one of them is a producer he's doing interviews and he don't give a damn about you niggas man and before they went out they went out bad man having blunts on the, you know in the studio rolling blunts and the heavenly father have withdrew the holy spirit from these men and now you all who were following that, that madness you don't have you, where are you being edified at God edify me. That's the answer. I don't need no man. All right. We'll see how that works out for you. You can just go straight to Yahweh Shai without going through his men. <laughs> or you can go straight to the Most High without going through Yahweh Shai. That's the order. But we're supposed to be diligent to know the state of the, thy flocks. We do the health videos to the best of our ability. You know, we go into prophecy. We go into news. We warn you. We do uh, uh, character building videos, okay, and, and that's the sacrifice, man. But that goes into being diligent to knowing the state of the flock and looking well to the herds, man. But as it says here, verse 12 in John 10, but he that is in Ireland and not the shepherd whose own sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is in hireling and careth not for the sheep. You see that? These guys don't care about the sheep. If they cared, they'd be, they'd be here. Okay? They put a stipulate, we're going to do 40 radio shows. They, and they were bugging out, dan you know, dancing all in the, in, the, in, the, in the thing. Talking shit for four to five hours. And pretty much every episode was about coming up against the ones who taught them. <laughs> now look, man. Through. And, it, and and this is the time where it matters, man. We're living in the time where the, the, now it matters. Because the, 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 the wolf is coming, man. So what's going to happen to those who followed your ass? And then who are now left out to, to dry, man. Ezekiel 34 and 8 and 7. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey and my flock became meat to every beast of the field. And this is going to happen with a lot of these camps, man. Because even the ones who are here, they're prophesying you a vision out of their own heart. Meanwhile, the true prophecies that are coming to pass, they're telling you not to worry about it. It doesn't matter. It's insignificant. You know, uh, 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 you know we're going to do this. We're going to do that. All right. Uh, 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 and then they use the law. Where are we going off in the law? The, the, where we can't do this. Do, can we do? Well, hey, there's particular things that are lawful but not expedient according to the spirit. Yeah, building and all of that stuff sounds good, but hey, we're living in it. We're not living in a position. We're not in that's that's not the time that we're in. But hey, you know, have at it. Go ahead, and we'll just see how it works out for you. All right, the Lord is gonna uh, cover those who care for the sheep and the sheep who listen to the shepherds He sent. Man, it's all good. You know, it's all good. At this point, it's really nothing else to argue back and forth about with you camps you know the 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 prophecy is laid and as you can see it's being fulfilled so we're going to see whose testimony was the right testimony we're going to see what spirit was the right spirit to be in you see all things are lawful but not all things are expedient and as a shepherd as a leader of the sheep you have to be able to discern and know and understand when and when not to do something, when and when not to say something. Okay? Because they're watching you and they're going to mimic you. And you could think that you're in the right spirit just because you can go to a scripture and it says that, you know, and, and, and then what? You're going to fall off a cliff. Why? Because you weren't in the right spirit. The scriptures say a wise sentence will be rejected when it cometh out of the mouth of a fool because he will not speak it in due season. So there's particular truths and wisdom that, that you may speak, but you speak it out of season and in the wrong time, and it ends up destroying you and biting you in the ass, man. 
The true nation building is the building of the tabernacle of David, which are the souls of the elect. Okay, the souls of the elect, man, starting, all right, with the preachers who have the new song, man. Okay, but now these guys are going to become meat to every beast of the field because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherd search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves. They fed their egos. Okay, they were eating that fucking GMO Chicago chicken. Okay, and wherever else the hell they were, Detroit, wherever wherever they were, all right? They got a little fame, they got some likes, they got emails, they got a few donations, and they said, to hell with you niggas, we out. But the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock, man. Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand. Basically, you're going to be judged. Now, those niggas are going to be destroyed who didn't repent, who was following you. But the blood is going to be on your hands. Okay? Because you see it, the sword coming, and you still silent. What, are, what, are our, what, are, what mind frame are our people supposed to be in in the times coming? Huh? What should they do when these things come upon them? What should they do when they're presented with these devices and things that Esau's coming with? Neither shall neither shall the shepherds feed themselves anymore, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth that they may not be meat to them, for so that you who repent, the heavenly father is gonna do uh you know deliver you from that madness, man. This is all pride and ego. Jude talks about these type of men who creep in unaware, come amongst the church, then take the apostles' doctrine. That happened, literally, was happening to the church at the time that Jude and Peter was on the scene. Men who would come amongst the flock, you know, take the doctrine and leave and go start their own thing and pervert what they were learning as if they came up with it and they came and they were these grandiose, great niggas, man. And eventually their platforms fell. They failed, man. And the Lord is going to deliver us, man. You know? Let's see. But if the watchman, Ezekiel 33 and 6, see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at that watchman's hand. So you guys got a lot of blood on your hand. See, a lot of you don't realize the serious oath you took when you started to say all praise to Yahweh Bashim Shai and came out teaching them, going on the highways and the byways. That was an oath. Just like on the left hand, people take oaths. And when they break the oath, <laughs> they, they, they get offed. Or some, their lives get destroyed. Well, you just wait till your Yahweh Shemiah Shai gets busy, man. Okay? You left the sheep. You left the sheep, man. So, and when you go into the, you know, the, the relationship between the shepherd and the sheep, it's a very personal and beautiful relationship, you know? And the, sh the shepherd was very, very serious about his sheep. You know, he loved them. When they would be in crazy situations, he'd go get them. Hey, but the hireling was like, hell nah. Hell nah. You got wild animals, you got robbers, you got all sorts of shit out here. So the, the shepherd is needed because the sheep are defenseless. Now, of course, the good shepherd is Yahawashai, but he sent, all right, men as well to be shepherds in the form of those who follow him whithersoever he goeth. So I just wanted to get into that real quick. Hopefully I will edify it. Until the next time, Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And the new moon is tonight. Shalom.